bear with me, the voice is worse than normal. <clears throat> Um, statistically, you'll look at it and say, yeah, 30 intercept marks. Um, we knew that coming in. We knew that was going to be a challenge. And, and so, so seeing that result and the way it played out, you say, well, they've done it in grand finals. They've done it in some of the biggest games that you face. And that's why they're top of the table and that's why they're the best team in the competition. We had a lot of plans in place for <clears throat> how to combat that. Sorry about my voice. Um, we weren't able to execute those plans. But we, we um, you know, whilst failing in that area, I thought we, we were, you know, very strong in others. Unfortunately, against the best team in the competition or the best teams in the competition, you can't fail in, in areas to that level. Minus 30, or sorry, 30 intercept marks against. It's going to make it hard to score. <clears throat> It's a combination. It is a combination, and unfortunately, because if it was one, then we could nail it. Um, when it's a combination of, of, you know, at times poor patterns ahead of the ball, at times ball use, um, at times the opposition just being too good, um, it does make it hard to, to get that right, but it's an area we must get right because tonight that cost us the game in the end. Uh, well, it's a good lesson. It's a good... I mean, being out there amongst that is... You, you're going to learn. You learn a lot uh, through failure. You learn a lot through struggling. It's part of becoming brilliant. So um, it's to what extent, is, you know, for how long are you are you going to be in that position? And that's... That, by the way, I mean, you mentioned two two of our players. As I said before, it's not it's not only on the forwards. It's not, a, it's not just the mids or the backs. It's a combination. So... <clears throat> um, those guys, as, as we know, they've, they're early in their footy careers. Um, when we talk about Riley, Fogg's been in a little longer. Um, I thought he actually had a pretty big impact on the game and compound dislocation of the finger doesn't help, but he battled through that. Um, that was quite ugly, to be honest. Uh, you know, to his credit, he stuck, stuck at it and kept fighting for the team. But, um, yeah, the, yeah when, you've, when you've got a stat like that on the, on the books at the end of a game, it, it, it's, um, it's going to make it hard for everyone. I will dive into exactly what it was tonight. We'll look at May and, and the way he performed. I thought Tex and he had a great battle. I, I thought May played a, a very strong game, but I thought Tex had his moments as well. And so there's a number of marks where they're, they're intercept marks one on one. Um, they're the times where you actually you know, nod the head and say, well done. I thought Tex, as I said before, I thought there were times where we were quite pleased with the way he competed as well. But um, Yep, we'll put our heads down, we'll look at the detail of it, we'll go in and work on you know, patterns, we'll work on some of our structures. We, we play, you know, we played an extra up, as did they. They played a couple of players up the ground high, so they were happy to give us an extra behind the ball as well. And in the end, it played out. They were better behind the ball than we were tonight. You dragged it back to five <coughs> points early in that fourth quarter, and you mentioned there were some areas yeah. that you did like. What did you like tonight or today? Oh, I loved our, yeah. t I loved our ticker. I loved you know, the fight that we bought. Um, you know, some would say, I don't know what sort of game it came across as. I'm sitting in the behind the box the same as you guys are, but we took the game where we wanted the game. Um, in the end, it was was pretty well balanced between forward half, back half. Although when they had their time, they, they punished us a little more than we did, you know. And what I really liked was we gave ourselves the opportunities and unfortunately we didn't capitalise on those. And that's where some of the, the intercept marks come in. Um, but no, really pleased. Our midfield has battered it out against the best in the comp. There's, um, yeah, we had a discussion post game about their ability to balance inside outside. They beat us out the front. Petraka and Oliver and Viney are, you know, just the highest of quality. So um, <clears throat> talk about learnings. I think our mids had a great learn today. Although I thought Sam, you know, Barry was was great. Took another step. Um, yes, yeah, Saligo got a little bit more time in there this week and adds another dynamic to us in around that uh, that midfield. I know Ben Keys loves playing alongside these guys, as does Laddie. So Laddie had a tag up until half time and <clears throat> thought he fought through that well as well and played, you know, a really selfless role at times to keep us within five points.
you know, in the last quarter. So some really, some really positive stuff to come out. Was it a class difference, do you think, for them as much as anything? Just guys like Petrarca and Oliver and Langdon are just able to take over the game in those key moments? Yeah, I think there was definitely a, an experience which brings class. Yeah, I often talk about the game being a little slower. The, long, the more you play, the longer you've, you know, you're 100 games in, the game becomes more predictable. You've been there, you've done that. Um, you, your body becomes more sound, stronger, you're more consistent. I thought that's what they were tonight. I thought they absorbed the pressure. I thought probably the standout area other than the intercept marks, they, they absorb pressure as good as I've seen this year, as good as we've seen this year. Um, you know, we, we feel like we, we bring the heat and we, we like to tackle. I thought they absorbed that. They were able to get their hands free and release it on the outside. So <clears throat> the challenge with that comes just having one tackler that, that might go at, at Viney or that'll go up a tracker. And, um, you know, even though we butted up and we fought it out, I thought that was a real big difference in the game tonight. We, we probably didn't absorb the pressure as well as they did. How do you stop? Well, look, over time, you do war work in the gym, you get stronger, uh, you continue to work on your tackling, you work on your shape and your balance. Um, again, these things, these things take time. Um, we've had our weeks where we've really got that right. Uh, tonight, we you know, unfortunately didn't quite get it to the level it needed to be at. And we're not far off, you know, so in the end, the scoreboard is whatever it is. It's, um, but, you know, when you're five points, when you're one kick, Going into the last quarter, you're getting a lot of things right. <clears throat> you said yesterday, Matthew, that you can't afford to give the ball back to them. Did you, how did you think you fared in that? Not so much in the forward line, but just in general play throughout the <laughs> Well, we gave it back to them, didn't we? About 30 times in the air with a mark. Um, and again, the pressure, absorbing pressure. They, they did it better than us tonight. Um, Again, it's not the be-all and end-all. We got a lot of other things right. Moved the ball well at times. Had our chances in the front half. You know, we had a lot of slow pl slow play ball where we could have used the ball and gone in and <clears throat> unfortunately just didn't get the ball on the ground. So we didn't really give our small forwards a chance tonight. Um, it would have been a tough gig for, for some of them. And, and in saying that, some of the intercept marks are on those guys as well. So um, I, I, I gotta be mindful. I, 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 thought, I thought it was a great battle. I thought we took it to them. And we challenged them, and you know we'll come away from that <clears throat> still on track. We know we're on track. We'll come away with that and say, well, we, we fought it out with the best, and we have some work to do. But um, we'll, we'll take as much positive away from that game with than what we can. Been a lot of talk about your midfield balance. I think Crouch also had 42 again, and Sam today. How did you see your midfield balance today? Yeah, I really enjoyed the balance we had out there. I, I did hear Matty. Um, I saw the first half. Uh, Matty going well, I think the whole squad really, um, you know, to watch the guys perform. <clears throat> Couldn't watch the full game, unfortunately. But, um, you know, to see the way that squad's performing at the moment and to get a 10 or, or more goal win at an SRFL level is showing where our squad's at. Uh, Matty's a really important part of that too. And, you know, we've got others back there that are playing great footy. So it's helping up, it's helping above, <clears throat> having that pressure from below is helping us perform and, and really drive our standard to, to another level. So really pleasing today. Yeah, no, I was just going to quickly ask about Dawson, um, Simon Goodwin, saying how much of a healthy discussion. I think you described it in their box, particularly during the second quarter, in the use of him. Um, yeah. The impact early and then the second half. Um, what sort of issues were you talking about in the box? Um, just how to, where to put him on? How to get him back in again and yeah. <coughs> challenge the oppo. Yeah, <coughs> um, he does that a lot, Dawson. I know he's... You know, talking to coaches around the league, he, he causes uh, a fair bit of angst. He, he's a great footballer. He's a very smart footballer, uh, great awareness. So he, he understands the game and sees it really well. He's been fantastic for our group. You know, he's come in and he's worked with a lot of these younger guys down back. He's spent time up around the wing and, and in, through that midfield. So we, we use him in a number of different roles, depending on what we see in, in the scenario and where the opposition are at, uh, where the game's at. <clears throat> Um, by no means are we locking him down into one position. And, you know, it does cause some conversation, I, I would say, from the other box, something we'll keep looking at. Um, and again, he keeps working with our group around. He's a fantastic leader, especially on field. Uh, does some great work off field as well. So, you know, great acquisition for the footy club. Did you sort of sense that they were allowing him to set up on the ball? Yeah, there was, a period, there was a period early where they, they seemed happy to go 
uh, you know, 1v1 in behind the footy. Um, and we came in at half time with a similar thought from our box. I mean, you know, to be to be where we were down by down by a point at half time, we we will have no complaints playing against the best team in the competition. Um, we adjusted a couple of things into the second half, which we thought would get it on our, our terms, but in the end it was <clears throat> it wasn't so much about structurally, it was their ability to be composed under pressure, um, their ability to hold shape as a group. You know, we discussed it coming in. They're they're a fantastic side. They trust each other and they've got great connection. How did you see that? Uh, obviously, a lopsided <coughs> ruck hit out. I mean, and do you feel like you, you capitalised as much as you would like? Yeah, it was a huge number. We, we probably saw that coming in. We we you know we really rate Rob highly in that space, and <coughs> we thought we'd get an ascendancy there. It was a matter of. You know, we're then putting it, unfortunately, it, it does go to ground where they're extremely strong. Um, and we knew that would be a challenge for us. We changed up that look a, a fair bit during the game. I think they beat us by 20 with ground ball pre-clearance, you know, which is a huge number. But it, it can often go that way when a team comes in and <clears throat> knows they'll be challenged in hit-outs. Um, you know, they'll take positioning in a certain way. Yeah, we've been able to do that in the past. We haven't won ruck, you know, hit outs and we've been able to win the ground ball, but tonight we didn't get that done. We um, we also uh, have a whole lot of respect for our opposition tonight as well and understand what they do really well. The club obviously knew he was a very good player, but Dawson going even better than what you expected when he joined the club as coach? No, no not at all. I've got to be careful how I say that. He's going really, really well. Uh, we probably saw that before we, we that he came to the footy club. He's um, he was performing extremely well at Sydney, um, a really important part of what they were doing, and we we you know we had a good look at that. <clears throat> um, but he is uh, he's he's become a really important part of our our football club. Recruit of the year across the country. Oh, we're we're really pleased. He's definitely our recruit of the year. <laughs> well, we got, uh, I was just going to ask. Um, it feels like Wayne's taking more steps. Do you think that was his best game? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually glad you brought it up. Yeah, I, I think Wayne's... I think Wayne's slowly finding the speed of the game again. <clears throat> this is two years out. You know, and um, he's shown how important he is when we get that footy on the deck. Um, played a couple of roles for us tonight as well, you know, that we needed to go to because we weren't getting it done. And So it's really pleasing to see, you know... It, we knew that in time he would, he would slowly find the speed of the game and... When he does and <clears throat> maybe goes past it, then we're going to see some some real progress there. We're going to, you know, he's got some weapons that we we haven't quite been able to see at this point, but um, yeah, it won't be it won't be far away. And, and Fog and Butsy are okay with their little. Well, yeah, Fogs is an interesting one. How that pulls up, um, I haven't heard yet on Butsy. I'll find out when we get back in. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys.